Voting is one of our most important and fundamental rights. It allows all of us to make our voices heard on the issues that affect our lives. The Santa Clara County Registrar of Voters wants to ensure that every voter has an opportunity to participate in the democratic process. We offer a variety of special services and programs designed to make voting easier and more secure. Voting by mail is one convenient option available to all registered voters. It allows you to exercise your right to vote from the comfort of your own home and gives you the freedom to cast your ballot whenever it fits your busy schedule. In this video, we'll explain how the vote by mail process works so you can decide if it's the right voting option for you. We'll show you how to sign up to vote by mail, how to fill out and return your ballot, and explain what happens to the ballots once they arrive at the Registrar of Voters office. Voting by mail is available to all voters in Santa Clara County, and signing up is easy. If you're already registered to vote, you can complete the vote by mail application on the back of the sample ballot pamphlet, which is mailed before every election. Vote by mail applications are also available from the Registrar of Voters office and online at sccvote.org. You can request a vote by mail ballot for the current election only, or you can become a permanent vote by mail voter to automatically receive a ballot each election. If you're registering or re-registering to vote, you can sign up to vote by mail on your voter registration form. Forms are available at your local post offices, libraries, and other government offices. Remember, the deadline to register to vote is 15 days before each election. The deadline to sign up to vote by mail is 7 days before the election. Casting your ballot by mail is easy and convenient. If you're a permanent vote by mail voter, your ballot will usually arrive about 3 to 4 weeks before election day. The ballot packet will include vote-by-mail instructions, a return envelope, and an official ballot. A sample ballot and voter information pamphlet will be mailed separately. The pamphlet contains candidate statements and measure arguments to help you make an informed decision. It's a good idea to mark your choices first in the sample ballot pages in the middle of the pamphlet before you complete your official ballot. When you've made up your mind and are ready to mark your ballot, be sure to read the instructions carefully. Using a pen with blue or black ink, mark your selections by completing the arrow with a single straight unbroken line. Do not use red ink or felt pens, and be careful not to make any stray or extra marks. To vote for a qualified write-in candidate, remember to mark the arrow in addition to writing the candidate's name. If you make a mistake, do not use whiteout or correction tape on the ballot. Instead, contact the Registrar of Voters Office to obtain a replacement. This is one reason why it's helpful to mark your choices in the sample ballot first. Once you've made all your selections, place your ballot in the return envelope, seal it, and sign the back of the envelope. It is very important that you sign the envelope yourself, otherwise the ballot will not be counted. Be sure to place the correct amount of postage on the envelope and then drop it in the nearest mailbox. Leave enough time for your ballot to be delivered by the post office, since all ballots must be received at the Registrar of Voters Office no later than 8 p.m. on Election Day. Postmarks are not accepted. If you're worried that your ballot may not be delivered in time, there are other options. You can also return your ballot in person to the Registrar of Voters Office or place it in the white 24-hour drop box located near the flagpole. You can also take your ballot to any Santa Clara County polling place on Election Day. Your nearest polling place location can be found on the back cover of your sample ballot. You can also look up your nearest polling place location at sccvote.org. If you need someone else to return your ballot, both of you must complete and sign the authorization section on the return envelope. If you lose your vote by mail ballot or make a mistake and don't have time to get a replacement, you can instead go to your polling place on election day and you will be allowed to cast a ballot. You will be asked to complete a provisional voter form. Remember, there are many options for returning your vote by mail ballot. Whichever you choose, your ballot must be received by 8 p.m. on Election Day. In addition to being convenient, voting by mail is one of the most secure ways to participate in elections. Ballots are protected by heightened security measures and carefully inspected to ensure their validity and prevent voter fraud. In this way, the Registrar of Voters Office can protect the integrity of the election results while ensuring that every valid vote is counted. Every vote by mail ballot is signature checked to verify its authenticity. The signature on the back of the return envelope is compared with the voter's original signature on the registration form. This helps ensure that no unauthorized person can complete and return another voter's ballot. After the signature is verified, the ballots are separated from the signed envelopes before being counted in order to protect the secrecy of the votes.
The registrar's office also keeps records of all incoming ballots, which are used to ensure that a single voter does not cast more than one ballot in the same election. Once a ballot has been determined to be valid, it is counted by high-speed optical scan readers. Every valid vote-by-mail ballot will be counted and included in the final election results. You can track the status of your return vote-by-mail ballot online at sccvote.org or by calling the registrar's office. Voting by mail is a secure and convenient option for you to participate in the democratic process. But whether you choose to vote by mail or at the polls, always remember to exercise your right to vote.